Hey guys, welcome to another Tableau video. We're going to be looking at stacked bar charts. So sometimes you want to be able to compare the distribution from one thing to another, right? Not just total count. So let me show you what I mean by that. So if we go category, subcategory, and let's say I grab, let's say quantity, right? So I've got something like this, so pretty standard. And let's split this up by segment. So uh, let's pick an example here. So paper and storage. Let's say that's the one I'm looking at. You can see that the storage, especially the, the home office, is significantly higher than paper, right? That's one measure. But as a percentage across the whole, right, how much of storage is actually home office? Because maybe we have a rule that there should be no more than 15%. So how can you tell that from here? Well, you can't directly. Hence, we need to do a modification. So firstly, I'm going to start with just adding sum of quantity to the label. So this is just to illustrate. And I can apply a percentage straight away. So this is kind of version number one, let's call it. So we can go here, quick table, and percent of total. Right? And what you'll find if you're looking at it, if you add these up, these do not equal to 100%. Right? We want it to be 100% as when you add them up all the way across. So we can go in here. Compute using, and in this case, we're going to need to use cell, right? So now if I add these up, yep, that looks like 50%. So you can see in paper, actually 20%, uh, the total, uh, let me say that again, home office accounts for almost 21%, whereas in storage, it only accounts for 17%. So if we had a rule of like, listen, nothing can go past 19%, without that, it's kind of hard to see. All right, that's one way. But I don't like to read things, right? I want to be able to see things and then it just, my brain just reads it, right? The way I would do that is, let's get rid of this. We do the same thing, but instead of applying it to the text, we can apply it directly to this value here. So I'm going to duplicate this so we can have kind of a before and after. So I can right click, quick table calculation and percent of total. Right, so you can see that this axis has now changed. But remember, if we add this to actually, maybe I'll just use this one, I'm feeling lazy, right? But we want to apply it all the way across. So if we go in here and go compute using cell, now it's completely stacked and it's a function of a hundred percent, you can say. So now we can compare these values directly. We can actually say, Show me anything that is above, you know, 19%. Right, and the way we can check this um, quite simply is if I just go, let's say, reference line. Um, actually, we'll do something a little bit more advanced. So let's say, no, actually, we'll do it this way. Okay, we'll go reference line, and we only want to apply it to this one, right? So we go table, right? So there should be a vertical line here, and this value will just be a constant. Right, and we're going to make it 0.19%. Okay, like so. Right, and go OK. So you can clearly see, all right, there's only a few that have actually gone over. So the ones I'll probably look at is like chairs, labels, this one, this one, and this one. Right, and again, it just gives you a different way to look at the same data rather than looking at it like this. Your eyes will automatically tell you. So even if I get rid of um, let's say that you can you can still tell right it's still easy to tell just visually whereas here it's a lot harder right so that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you next time